Bears, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla June, Kale Barb on social media. So today we are going to strictly focus and also happy mental health on Monday. Also, I'm wearing yellow because today is World Suicide Prevention Day. Um, and I thought it was appropriate, um, especially since, you know, I post every week on Monday for Mental Health Monday. But today's video is going to be um, how to identify panic attacks on different levels, the symptoms, and a way that you can kind of relieve it. So, that is what today's video is about, and if you are interested, then keep on watching. So, I drew this little, this little chart here. I'm just going to go over it. And we are going to kind of talk about it. And I made this chart based off of my personal experiences and my feelings and what I feel. I actually did this activity with my therapist and it benefited me so much that I decided to share it with you. So um, I have five levels and then I have this little remedy right here that can help you wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Just a short little thing that you can do to kind of calm yourself down a little bit. So we're just going to go over this together and... I hope that this benefits you as well. So obviously we have the first level. So this is what it actually looks like. Um, I drew this out, of course. And the first one we have is anxiety level zero. So that is the normal feeling that you should feel when you don't feel anxiety at all. So I wrote, life is good. I'm so happy and content. I can handle anything that life throws my way. And I wrote also, again, how average people, normal people, start their day. And I don't want that to offend anybody, but that is just basically what my therapist and I discussed in therapy together about how you should feel without anxiety, depression, and just a complete and control of yourself. So what I wrote for symptoms or feelings content, smiling, happy, optimistic, and clear-minded. So obviously that is a wonderful amount of emotions and feelings that you would like to feel on a daily basis. Trust me, I understand, I do as well. So then you have anxiety level one. So as you can see, still smiling, a little bit less than the first one, and the brows are a little bit different. So for here, I wrote a minor hiccup or flaw in your day nothing I can't handle. So it's not as severe as anything else, but you still feel that slight offness. And I wrote, for an example, misplacing your keys, your sunglasses, or your cell phone, because I know when I misplace my cell phone, I go, I kind of lose it a little bit and I start getting a little bit frantic. So for the symptoms, I have minor heart palpitations and again, frantic. That's how I feel. I just get a little bit worried and I don't know what to do because I don't like misplacing things. I don't like being disorganized with my stuff. And that's very common with a lot of people and it will benefit you to realize that, okay, this is level one anxiety. I can resolve this. Let me just take my time, take a deep breath, and let me find my phone, my keys, my sunglasses, whatever you have misplaced as an example. So then next you have anxiety level two. So obviously you can see the smile is a little bit down. And things are starting to get a little bit worse. So you have, I wrote, oh, come on, this is not a good time. So, for example, this one for level two, similar to misplacing something that's valuable to you, but with the addition of running late. So if you're running late for work or a class or something like that, those are two problems in one. And when you have that type of situation, it's kind of harder to handle then for level one anxiety. So when you have two things you are worrying about, oh my gosh, I need to do this before I leave, but I don't have enough time, or I'm already running late and I can't find my phone. That's a whole different thing. Whereas, you know, just figuring out where you misplaced your keys or whatever in level one versus in level two, you have two problems that you're trying to figure out at once. And then for this, I also wrote heart palpitations and shortness of breath. Again, this is when the levels, as the level gets higher, it starts to feel a little bit worse. So then we have anxiety level three. And as you can see from the smiley face that it is, a, it's a little bit shaken up. It's a little bit worried. And I wrote here, this is all too much to handle. So obviously, I didn't write an example for that, but it's as clear as day when you have multiple, multiple things going on in your life and you just feel out of control and you don't know what to do. So then for the 
The feelings or symptoms I wrote, dizziness, unsteadiness, trembling, and fears of going crazy. I feel this probably the most out of all of it. And this is like the middle ground, in my opinion, because anxiety level zero is just a straight line. Then you have one, then you have two, and three is like the middle ground. And I know for people who, who go through anxiety and depression like us or any mental health um, situation, that when you hit this level, we are... Uh, for me personally, you get to understand that, okay, I have anxiety on a, on a daily basis and, you know, it's okay because I'm at that middle ground. Not saying that, you know, it's uncontrollable or you can't change it, but you obviously can. It's just a more, it's a more common thing for me. I'm speaking out of experience now. It's a more common thing for me to realize that, okay, this is, you know, becoming overwhelming. For example, I have school coming up, I have the wedding in December, I have, you know, my bridal showers soon, and I have all these vendors and deposits, and, you know, we have a house now, so there's a lot of things that build up. When you're an adult, you get to, you know, you get to feel that way. But, like I said, you know, I don't feel dizziness or unsteadiness or trembling or fears of going crazy all the time. I'm just saying that this is like the middle ground of the anxiety levels. So we are going to move on and go to anxiety level number four. So as you can see, the smiley face is no longer smiling, but instead it is crying. So this point of this, the level is, could anything else go wrong? Kind of similar to level three, but also a lot worse. So this is when you hit your, you're your hitting your breaking point of, can anything else go wrong negatively? Can anything else just tremble? Like, can anything else go wrong? And for the symptoms I have here, I have trembling, shaking, nausea, abdominal stress, feeling of choking, and loss of control. And of course, we all get there. Let's be honest. I've been there multiple times, and it is very overwhelming. Also, I didn't write this, but crying is a another thing that I experienced during level four. So for anxiety and the final level, number five, I have this guy right here who is literally, to me, is what I do. I go numb, I shut off, and I feel completely, completely just like a brick wall. And for this, I wrote silently rocking back and forth. And this is where you really need to collect yourself and focus solely on yourself. And I know with every level, you should just focus on your self-care and self-love and your inner being. But for anxiety level five, this is the end of the scale. And this is when you really need to take a step back and reevaluate everything that is bothering you. Something that helps me when I reach level five is talking it out with someone like Vincent or I just write everything down in my journal. That helps me. So four, or I also go see my therapist. That is very helpful as well. But for these symptoms or feelings, sweating, nausea, abdominal stress, numbness, silent, fears of dying, loss of reality, loss of control. And then, as we all know, and some of us are too ashamed to, you know, talk about it, the worst symptom in anxiety level five, and I know it's it's kind of similar to depression as well, but this is also beneficial because panic attacks are panic attacks. Just because you have just anxiety and you don't have depression doesn't mean that you can't fear of dying. And that is why this is a good video for World Suicide Prevention Day because some of you may have thought about this before and I will have a video soon talking about this. But this isn't something that you need to be ashamed of at all. But let me move on to finally discuss about the remedies. So this just little thing right here, I'm gonna show you just so you can visually see it. Um, and it can be there for you to write down if you need to. So breathe in for four seconds, hold breath for seven seconds, exhale breath for eight seconds, and repeat as much as needed. So this is generally the best way for me to calm down and really collect myself and just realize that even though things feel like they're falling apart there is always a way to come back from that and there is always a way to improve from that and I know sometimes depending on these levels or any level you are are involved in or you feel it may not be the case you may not feel like you can come back from it but 
The reality of it is you always can no matter what. You need to find the confidence in yourself to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, okay, I feel anxiety level three today, but I can come back from that. Or, you know, I'm just feeling anxiety level one, but I can come back from that. Or I feel anxiety level five, but guess what? I can come back from that. You can always bounce back and move on and live your happy, happy life because I am a perfect example of that. There have been times where I have dealt with every single one of these levels throughout my life. And again, I am 26 years old, so I've been dealing with this my whole life. But I wanted to explain that with you, and I know this is a short, I, short video, but I do hope this helped you. Um, let me know if it did in the comment section below. If you have experienced any levels today, let me know in the comment section below. Or in a few days, you know, if you have been for a few days dealing with different types of levels of anxiety or panic attacks, let me know in the comment section below. I really do want to know any way I can help you, and I would love to talk to you about it. But so I hope this was helpful, of course, and happy. I say happy because we all should be and deserve to be happy. Um, Mental Health Monday, and reach out to someone today since it is World you know, Suicide Prevention Day. And don't forget, if you need to seek help, there are a bunch of links down below, numbers down below. Reach out to one of those resources. Comment me and reach out to me if, if you want someone to talk to. I'm always here. And I hope that this helps you identify your different levels of anxiety, depression, or panic attacks. And I hope to see you next week for a Mental Health Monday. And yeah, that is it. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And like this video, give it a thumbs up if it helped you. And if it didn't, give it a thumbs down, but let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bears, thank you so much. Bye.